Grammy Award winning music producer and convicted murderer Phil Spector died Sunday. Spector shot to fame when he was just a teenager. And at 21 years old, he became the youngest person to ever own a U.S. record label company. He gained a reputation for being really unstable. Music historian and former MTV host Matt Pinfield says it was known Spectre would often pull guns on different artists while working in music studios. Artists and bands such as the Ramones, John Lennon and Debbie Harry from Blondie. You know, people tolerated a lot of his crazy behavior because they wanted the end product. They wanted that wall of sound. They wanted, you know, what they thought was that magical stamp that Phil Spectre could put on a recording. Um, until it became too much. Spectre's former wife, Ronnie Spectre, took to Instagram and posted this picture, saying in part, he was a brilliant producer, but a lousy husband. It's, it's widely known that he was uh, very abusive and, uh, you know, like would lock her, his young bride, in their home and not let her out and kind of squashed her career. But his career came tumbling down in 2009 when Spectre was convicted of the 2003 fatal shooting of his former girlfriend, 40-year-old actress Lana Clarkson. The trial became somewhat of a circus in Los Angeles. He was convicted of second-degree murder and sentenced to 19 years to life in prison. Phil Spectre is an important part of the history of music as a figure, but Sadly, that legacy is tarnished by being a convicted murderer. Social media reaction was mixed, with many pleading for people to forget the talent and instead remember his victim, Lana Clarkson. Her mother released a statement saying in part, Lana was a warm, compassionate, kind, loving woman. Her energy, brightness, and love of life have sustained her family since her murder. Spectre was 81. His family has said that he contracted COVID last month, but the medical examiner has yet to confirm his cause of death. I'm Brittany Hopper, KCAL 9 News.